working with women is so enjoyable because to be honest, women, whenever they're committed, they're committed. And in any development in the whole world, women, they play 100% of their role in anything. And they never set back. They always, you know, push to the limit. Isatu Sizai has been called the Gambia's queen of plastic recycling. Before you get firewood today in the rural communities, you have to walk maybe one and a half, two, two kilometers before you get to the forest to have maybe 10 sticks that you can use for one meal. You know, it, it takes a lot of your time. The real poor people, they cannot get access to that charcoal. But with this one, it's easy access wherever you are in the country. Isatu is the founder of the NGO women's initiative, The Gambia. It's found a way to produce fuel briquettes from the shells of peanuts or ground nuts. Okay. Ground nuts are the Gambia's main cash crop and export product. Left to decay, the shells produce CO2 and methane. So first they're crushed, then slowly burned. We're here for our families. We come every morning to this place to earn as much as we can for them. It allows us to pay the school fees and school materials. When I get up in the morning at 6 to come here, there are up to 500 other women here. Their families wouldn't survive without this job. One of Africa's smallest countries, the Gambia, is drowning in garbage. To stop them using plastic or using other material is very difficult because today we are in a, you know, kind of a development world. Everybody go to the supermarket and buy packaging things and eat them. We believe that it's a good resources that we can use and then turn it into something. And for that one, people ask us questions, why do you come with this and how do you do it? It's just about trial. When people thinking about problems, Women Initiative Gambia is behind to think about solutions. At a landfill near Sizai's village, these women are collecting discarded glass, plastic, and leftover fabric dumped by local seamstresses. If you know what to look for, there are rich pickings to be had. Maram Sezai is one of Isatu's first partners. She remembers that there was some initial skepticism about the project and the idea of women gaining financial independence. When I started in 1997, my family thought I was crazy. As a young married woman, I was expected to get up in the morning and cook food for my husband in the kitchen. But my family and my husband had to watch me heading off to the dumping ground. They told me I wasn't a good wife. They expected me to be home with my husband. They had no idea what I was up to. At this time of year, there is not much growing in the central river region. It's over 40 degrees Celsius, and the rains won't come for another six months. But people still need to earn a living. It was a big threat to the men of the community, and I never blame them for that, because that's the nature and that's the culture that we are living in. But I always said, culture is us. We are the ones who build culture. It's about the situation that we are living and what favors us. Men leading is not a problem. But women also today, they have rights to lead because they are contributing. The recycling center in the village of Nyao, where Isatu Sizai comes from, was the first in the Gambia. She employed just five women to begin with. They would collect and clean up old plastic bags and then weave them into new ones. Today, up to 20,000 people across the country work with or for her NGO. They produce briquettes, soap, bags, jewelry, and toys. Some of the best-selling items are purses made from reclaimed plastic. Before Isa too came along, all we knew how to do was cook. Now we have skills that allow us to earn our own money. Village banks look after the money earned by the women's groups around the country, so it doesn't all disappear into their household spending. 
we want to empower them and we want to train them on economic, how they can economic little that they have. So when they receive their monies from the sales of the process, if it is $100, you have to sit back and tell us how much money do you want to take home. But whatever happens, you have to put some money into here because we are planning for tomorrow. When Isetu Sisai was growing up, this area was covered with mahogany and acacia trees. Deforestation and climate change have transformed the landscape into an arid steppe. We have to cook with firewood. The women, they go to the forest and cut trees for cooking. And there is no replacement. So these are the problems that we are struggling with. That is why we try to make alternatives that we use uh, waste like granite cells, coconut cells, and any dry leaf, we process them into charcoal that women can use at a, one at a time. Funded by donations, the Women's Initiative also started a project called Reforest the Future. Water from a well irrigates the newly planted seedlings. Along with indigenous trees like mahogany, the women are growing mango and coconut trees. The saplings are still in a tree nursery, but will eventually be distributed across the country. You want to make a change. Be 100% be sure that it will never be overnight. And then you have to have an expectation that if it is 100 people living within your area, 75% will say no at the beginning. But let that be a motivation for you. Let everybody try to make sure that whatever you are uh, establishing, let it be a real thing and it is helping the society.